Yeah, we are fine. Are you? Um, 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 we are also doing well. But t tell us the situation. What, what really is the current state of affairs with regards to school classrooms, the classrooms in your school? Is it that you don't have any classroom block at all? Oh, okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, I was posted a new uh, teacher that was in 2015. Mm. And uh, the time that I, on my arrival, there was a uh, construction ongoing. Mm -hmm. An NGO called Pencil of Commerce was in the helm of affairs. And the, the information that I got was that they have a uh, dilapidated which was a three-unit classroom block. Mm -hmm. And it was using for us uh, for uh, the primary session. Mm -hmm. In those days, they were having primary. And uh, Pencil of Promise came to renovate that dilapidated structure and added a three unit classroom block to it with the aid of the MP for the area. Then, uh, from that time up to now, that is the only structure that we have. Meanwhile, we are a basic school. We start from AG1 up to JHS3. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, that is the current situation that we have. So when we want to talk of classroom, we have only six classrooms, which will contain only uh, six classes. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the classes, we are under three. So when uh, the weather is not comfortable, meaning there is no school for those classes. And the most unfortunate aspect is that the classes that are, are being affected are the sensitive ones, mm. which is the J3, J2, J1, J6, and P5. These are the people currently going through that situation. These people are the same people who will be writing the same examination that will be set by WAYEC uh, at the end of the year to give account of their stewardship for the nine years that they have gone to school. And this is a situation that we are facing at Adakulu Avaji DABC School Place. As assistant headmaster, has the school authorities sat down to think about how uh, you could deal with the situation? Have you also notified the district education directorate of the deficit of classrooms? Yeah, we have lodged several complaints. And we complain through our uh, assembly member, our MP, our district uh, directors, and uh, our CISO. And moreover, so we always uh, engage the community to see how best we can uh, arrest situation. So with that, the community was able to come up with uh, a shade, which they used touch to do. But uh, due to uh, some storm and some other stuff, it got collapsed. And uh, they still uh, went ahead to come and construct some other ones, like two. But that one, too, when it is raining, you will see that it is not large enough. And when it is raining, the rain has been uh, splashing under it. And moreover, to the touch when the wind is blowing, it has been uh, taking some off. So that is what the community was also able to, in a way. Mm. That was what the community was able to offer. But I'm asking of the responses that you had from the district education directorate and from the assembly member. Uh, when you reported this particular issue to them? Yes, uh, the responses they give us is they promise us they are working around the clock uh, for us to get a uh, classroom. And the uh, uh, assembly member on a community engagement meeting, I recollect, 
him giving uh, account of how he was able to manage to put uh, the school name in their budget. He went what they would be able to do to assist the school. He, he spoke of how he was able to put the school's name in the district's budget. And how he is uh, driving very hard to get a classroom for the community and the school as well. For how long has this situation persisted? That is what I earlier on say. I came here in the year 2015. So from 2015 up to date, that is the situation that we are in. From 2015 up until now, there has been yes. no change to the situation. Hello. I'm asking from 2015 up until now, there is there hasn't been any change. Yeah, from 2015 up to now, we have only the six units classroom block that we have. That was the only thing that is there and we have been managing. How is this affecting teaching and learning? It's affecting teaching and learning so diverse way because when it's raining, let's say for instance, we are now in June and getting to July and this are raining season. So when it is raining, it means that there is no classes for uh, those classes that I mentioned, which are five classes, B, four, five, then J1, J2, J3, meaning they will not have any class. So let's say, for instance, if a whole week we are experiencing rainfall, meaning there is no school or no class for those people, those peoples. And moreover to, to that, when uh, uh, colleagues are being sent to these places, they find it difficult to to the situation and to uh, stay and teach. Due to that, we even have a uh, lack of staff because currently we are shortage we of teachers currently mm. because uh, we don't have classrooms and everybody who is working wants an outcome to come out of the work that she is doing. But, but here I Mr. Kumando, quick one, quick one before you continue. How many classes do you have now? We have class, six classes. No, I'm not talking about the classrooms. I'm talking about the number of classes from kindergarten to JHS3. How many classes do you have now? So, in all, we have, um, we have 11 classes. How many teachers do you have now? We have, uh, uh, we have uh, 10 teachers. 10 teachers. Yeah. Okay. So teachers being posted there, they say that the situation is not conducive for teaching and learning, and they decide not to come. And they will not voice it. But when you are being, the, what I'm saying, when you happen to have a feel of this environment, mm. you, 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 you will be the, your heart will be broken. And maybe when you go, you will not like to come back. Mm. You you go and take a different session. So the few of us are around is due to persuasion of each other. We have to be convinced and uh, just find a way to accommodate you so that you'll be able to stay for us to do the work and help the little ones that we have here so that they also have a brighter future. My, my concern is with the JHS3 pupils who will be writing um, the RBEC very soon. Um, what are the strategies that the school uh, has put in place for them in, in these times? You are in June, and we know that in June uh, it rains a lot. We've had yeah. information from the Ghana Meteorological Agency that we're going to experience a lot of rains. So what do you have in place for them? For them to... The, the, the strategies that we have put in, that is what I've told you, that the community has passed the uh, shape we have been made with touch. Mm. Uh -huh. So that is what we are managing for them now. 
Mr. Kumado, yeah. um, thank you very much for speaking to us this morning. You are welcome.